Welcome to Politics on the Wheel with Jay, and this is Elik TV. The President Bola Tinubu is still under serious criticism over his performance at the Climate Change Summit in Dubai. Many Nigerians believe that uh, he went there just for showmanship, just as uh, Peter Obi, you know, in his address, congratulated Nigeria and uh, probably the congratulative message that most APC folks have been looking for has finally landed. And it came at a time when the president is facing a lot of backlash as a result of his performance at the climate change in Dubai. Here is a video before I bring to you what His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi said about the behavior of Nigerian governments in Dubai with a lot of contingents, which is sparking a lot of reaction. But here is a video of uh, the President Bola Tinubu speaking at the climate change in Dubai with a lot of boring faces while he was giving his speech. We will. Closely, you will see John Kerry hitting his hand on the on the chair. That is so like, what what the hell is this man saying? I mean, okay, take a look at this picture. Uh, the translator, I don't know what the, the person is hearing. Like, look at his face. Like, are you kidding me? What are you saying? You see, we we move from a disaster uh, to what I don't really know the word to quantify this current administration right now because if you look at what is going on. At the international community, it looks like uh, it's even better to have Buhari as the president of Nigeria. Remember, someone rightly said the last time that it, let's have uh, Buhari as a large president. Anyway, here is what uh, His Excellency Mr. Peter B said in regards to a long number of contingents to Dubai for the climate change, with a lot of people that have nothing to do with the climate change. Summit. In a twist of sad irony. Let me congratulate the giant of Africa, Nigeria, for matching the great China with the same number of contingents at the ongoing climate change in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Nigerians' contingents in the climate change totaled 1,411, the same number as the Chinese. Contingents, why Chinese budget for 2024 is about $4 trillion, about 2860 per head dollar. Nigeria's budget is about $33 billion, about $650 per head. China has a high human development index with the ranking of 79 out of 191 countries measured. And Nigeria has a low HDI with a ranking of 163 out of 191 countries measured. Nigeria has more people living in multidimensional poverty than China, despite China having seven times our population. Just imagine if you are having 100, 163 out of 191 country that is approximately like uh 30 there about 30 that just 30 country would have been the last and here we are competing with china in terms of it's a pity most importantly he continued the vast majority of those in the nigerian delegation to cop 20 uh uh to climate change uh, summit in the United Arab Emirates are uh, either non relative, relevant, sorry, civil servants and or relations, friends and hangers are of high government officials. Most of them hardly. Own. Nigeria is coming under a lot of criticism. Now, this person wrote, he said, comparing 
um, Peter Obi to to Tinubu is like comparing Keke to JLK because you know looking at the the performance of the president in Dubai is a portable. <laughs> we all know portable now. Zazu. It's a portable we do we outperform Buhari. I mean Tinubu as the president of Nigeria. Exactly. Let's look at those people that some people look at them as a clown. But if you look at the way they hold themselves and all of that, even your grandmother that didn't go to school in the village can outperform this current government in front of the international community. What the hell is he doing there? What is he saying? This is very, very uncalled for. You know, if you are not fit to do something, must you do it? You can as well as delegate somebody to go on your behalf. You know, under Buhari's administration, we saw how the vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, represent Buhari in so many events that he couldn't attend. Why can't you send uh, Shetima to represent you at the climate change with a little number of people to reduce cost? You pack over 1,000 people to Dubai to go and do what? In a nation where they ban your citizens from visiting. This is very, very uncalled for. We can't continue like this as a nation that we are looking for money to fund our budget, but we are carrying this large number of people to 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 to, to buy or you know to perform a function that some of them are even saying that they, they, they are not under government pay. So, but their name is under the list. I mean, in the list released by the federal government. Anyway, I leave this to you. What do you think? Please do want to share this video. Subscribe if you are new, and please let's be civil in our comment section the time is now let nigeria be liberated and how can this be done by end out you know your views and keeping pressure putting pressure rather on the government to make sure that they do the needful thank you for watching